Garden Week was really the only time that we had the general public coming in. And then that was very controlled. Mm -hmm. um, because we had the staff to do that then. In fact, we did, uh, I don't know if Andy mentioned it, this may have been in the late 90s when we, uh, when we were full staffed. Uh, it's probably 96, 97. Uh, we had stations set up during Garden Week where we did little, uh, we had staff doing seminars in their particular area. Uh, some of the gardeners had uh, um, uh, things for kids to do while they were, while their parents were looking, you know, going through the gardens and they may have a little seminar on planting bulbs or they may have a seminar on growing a certain vegetable or something like that. So they had the, all, the, all the stations set up all around uh, more than uh, the garden area doing those kind of things. We had, uh, we did have some What's the best way to describe that? Um, seminars with our state manager uh, that uh, that were almost educational in, in, in the way they were structured. Uh, we had moonlight walks in the garden. Uh, it was an effort during that sort of latter period that when we were trying to look at other revenue opportunities, just like anyone else, uh, and the estate was looking at that too. They wanted to have something that was revenue based and could generate revenue, and we were beginning to look at symposiums and uh, seminars and uh, tours and so forth. So we were doing something along those nature even in the late 1990s. But of course, then all that ceased when uh, when uh, we started cutting staff and um, we donated the property. But yes, I think some of the events were were revenue based.